Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about some zero to 100K trading methods to get you off the ground and started and moving throughout FIFA 21 Ultimate Team to kind of get those coins moving. That first 100K is pretty hard to get. So I want to kind of give you some help, especially if you're just getting onto the game during the early access or during the full game release in early October. I just want to make this video for maybe some new guys that are getting on the game, or if you're struggling to get off the ground, started from zero coins in foot, uh, I wanna talk to, to you about some ways that I use to get through my first 100,000 coins. As you can see here, I'm on 200,000 coins, and I've gotten there with a few of these methods. So we're gonna talk about some sniping filters today, trading with SBC solutions, and just sniping and bidding on silver cards. Because right now, for some reason, silver cards, although they're not really required for a lot, are still selling on the market for a really high amount and a lot of people are making big bucks on silvers. So I wanna talk about those things today. First thing is first. The first thing that I've used to make a lot of coins in the past recent future on this game is trading with non-rare golds that are used inside of SBCs. You've got two guys here that I've traded with a lot, Funes Mori and Andre Silva. And there's many other cards out there that you can trade with. I just wanna to talk to you guys about how to find those cards because they're out there, and I can't just give you the name because then it won't work, right? But I want to talk to you about SBC trading with the solutions, right? Because when people want to go into an SBC, I do this myself, right? We go to Footbin to find out the cheapest solution. And the cheapest solution on Footbin is usually changing because the prices on Footbin are not always exactly up to date right away. So right now, this is like the cheapest solution right now on Footbin. And I trade with this Andre Silva card a lot, right? Let me take a look and show you this guy's graph and kind of allow you to understand why I'm trading with this card. So this is his graph from yesterday. Watch his PlayStation 4 graph, right? You see for that most of the day, uh, he's around 1,000 coins, but there are, other, there are certain parts of the day where he peaks to around 2,000 coins and even peaked up to the 2.6K at one point. What happens is, is this card is a part of a lot of SBC solutions like this one right here, Portugal, no, no loyalties, the name of the squad for the, this is the whole nine yards uh, solution inside of the uh, hybrid leagues, SBC set, advanced SBCs. And you can see here that these cards are, you know, it says Andre Silva's 13 or coins on the market. Jalta share is 500 and Tunis is 1100. Semedo is a thousand, right? So Footbin reads these prices off and it updates and it says, Hey, Based off these prices that are, um, you know, we have calculated on the market right now, these, this is the cheapest solution at the moment. Now, if we go and look at Andre Silva, he's actually about like 1,500, 1,600 coins. So at the moment, he hasn't risen too much yet, but you can see the supply at 1,500 is dwindling because we're right to the 59th minute and there's two new listings there. So he's actually rising right now as we speak because he is the in the cheapest solution solution this one popped up first and i clicked on one in the whole the whole nine yards sbc so that solution that shows up first is what everybody wants to click on right so they go and buy the players to do the sbc and what happens is those players actually end up rising in value so until foot bins prices update people are just following this sbc and honestly they'll pay whatever it takes to get it done because it is a solution that is right there in front of them and it's easy, right? That's why these cards go up so much. I literally watched this Andre Silva card last night go from a thousand coins all the way up to 3,600 coins on the market. It was crazy how that fluctuation took place. So that's how I've made a lot of coins. All these Andre Silvas that you see here that are sold for right around like 17, 1800 coins, some of them for 2K. These Funes Moris were all bought for like 650 coins because his graph, just like Andre Silva's graph, um, I'll show you Funes Mori center back. I'll show you his graph as well. He bounces around a lot. Right now it says he's at a thousand coins. His solution might not be the cheapest yet, but look at this, man. I sold him today when he was getting up to this mark. He was at 600... 50 coins. I noticed that he bounced to 2K and he went to actually 3K today at one point and I sold a little bit early. But if that makes sense, that's kind of the key. You're basically going, just basically going to Footbin, go to um, Active Challenges, and then go to Advanced SBCs, go to the Hybrid League SBC, and you click on one of these SBCs, right? I, I usually click on the whole nine yards because this is an SBC people need help with because it's not easy. Sort by the price. Look for ones with no loyalty, and let's say we're gonna look for the cheapest one right now with no loyalty is this one right here. Who's inside of it? We have some Spanish players, right? This 
this Bustinuza guy, Bust, Bustin, Bustinza, <laughs> what a name. Uh, this is a guy that I've traded with as well because I know that he fluctuates when these Spanish SBCs get into the cheapest pot, right? He's 1.2K. He goes up to like 2.6 to 3K. Right now, it says he is 2,000 coins. Let me go check. Let me go check his price on the market and see if he's actually right around 2K. So he is. So Flippin must have just updated that solution because he's still right around 2K. What I would expect then is for this card to possibly rise up in the next, you know, probably 15 to 20 minutes. The cards actually rise up pretty fast and you have to stay on top of it. But the fluctuations is what you want to look for. So honestly, you could go look through a bunch of these squads and just look at the player graphs. And if you see the bounces like this, them rising a decent amount in, you know, multiple times per day, that'd be a perfect person that I would want to trade with on a low budget. Because, uh, you know, 1,000 coins, you sell it at 2K, you're making 1,000 coins a card just like that. Even if you have 5,000 coins, you're going to be doubling your coins very, very fast because there's solutions that are always going top to bottom at all times. So you can always be checking back here at the cheapest solution list and looking at which players people are going to be looking at to buy and be trading with those players. So that's number one thing that I would do to trade right now, because especially at the start of the game where we're at, everybody is doing SBCs like this to try to get their clubs off the ground and get some coins. So that's the number one thing that I would do. Number two thing is just with sniping filters. This is a tweet from Bwalds. I'm going to put the link to this tweet in the description. These sniping filters right here are ones that you can go under gold or under silver players and just search these filters and snipe players because a lot of players pop up under these. And basically, you're going to be trying to snipe for profit under these filters. So let's say gold Argentinian right backs is a sniping filter that we are looking at right here. So nationality, Argentina, Quality, gold, position, right back. Uh, let's see how much these are going for. How much are these uh, Argentinian right backs going for at 3,000 coins? Wow. These are actually really expensive. 4,000 coins for Bufarini popped up right there. So it looks like a lot of these cards are going for around 4K, and it looks like they are the economy bowl items um, for a lot of these cards, which is interesting. So boom, 4,000 coins for these, but there's multiple different cards that fall under this gold Argentine right back, right? These uh, Bufarini, Pelude, uh, Montiel. So there's at least three different cards that are going to pop up under this filter. These cards are packed a lot as well. The fact they're selling for 4K is crazy. Let me sit here for a second and see what I, how many of them I can get to pop up. Maybe that are very cheap. So like 4.2K it looks like is where they're selling. Let's see if I can maybe get one or two to pop up here. But this is basically what a sniping filter is. You could sit here on the sniping filter, search over and over, whether you're on the console, the web app, or the companion, wait for a snipe to come up, and then try to, to get it really quick from somebody that just packed this card, maybe thinks it's worth about a 1,000 coins, actually lists it up and finds out, hey, that was a big undercut. So I haven't seen any pop up just yet. Um, but this is basically what you would want to do with any of these sniping filters that were listed on this tweet right here. Let's try... Um, one more. Let's go. Let's go for the Colombian center back as well. Let me try this one. So Colombia gold center back. How much do these guys go for? Probably a little bit less. Maybe two thousand. Yeah. So right around two thousand coins. Boom. Look. There's a snipe for twelve hundred, and a snipe for eleven hundred. Wow. This is actually a really nice filter right here, man. So it actually looks like these guys are selling for two K. And I somehow just got those nice uh, undercut snipes right there. So that was a GG uh, with those two snipes right there. So I'm going to have to go list those up for 2K. That was awesome. Uh, and then basically just work your way through this list right here. Find cards that are good to snipe and basically just snipe or bid on those and quick flip, right? That's a great thing to do when you're in the low amount and you keep building those coins up. So I'll put the link to this tweet in the description. And the last thing is, if I can find where I was searching these, silvers. Silvers is the last thing I want to talk about. Zero to 100K trading. This is a fantastic way to get chunks at a time. Going to Footbin, what I did here is I went to Footbin. I searched by version. I went to silver. I went to all silver. And then went over here on the PlayStation price. I clicked on min price. I typed in 1,000. Max price, 4,000. Filter by price. And what I did here was I sorted by the price as well. And you find all of these silvers that are going for 4,000 coins. Or below. Look at these 3.4K. So basically, you can't always know that they're going to sell, right? So look for popular leagues and popular nations. So I'm going to sort this by, let's sort by France, right? 
start by some French silvers. So, you know, we have some French silvers here from, you know, a lot of right mids I'm seeing, right? So a couple of these guys, I'll probably just go out and look at on the market. And then you, you'll watch, you want to watch the card to make sure that it actually sells at that price. Like um, I bought Juan Fran. There's this right back. He's probably extinct. Uh, this guy right here, this guy is like always extinct, but he sells at like nine or 10,000 coins. It's crazy, right? There are silvers that sell for nine or 10K on the market for whatever reason. And um, for, for that reason, that's why finding filters and finding players like this is a great way to make some coins. So basically go through here, make sure that these players actually sell, that they're not just listed at two or three K and they're not gonna actually sell. So what I would do is like for this not knockout card, the Fulham right mid, I'm gonna actually search him up really quick. Anthony knockout and see on the market what he's actually going for. So there's a bid at 850 and there's a bunch of cards at 4K. So a perfect way to get a gauge on his price is gonna be watch this card. The max price is 15K. So that tells me that he's not just a normal silver, but I'm gonna watch him right here on this open bid and see where that price goes. Possibly get myself an opportunity at flipping that card for profit if I can get him on a bid for like maybe 3K, sell them for 4K or whatever. So basically that's one way to find a bunch of players that you can look at. And the biggest grind with the zero to 100K and this is my biggest tip for you guys is just spend time doing it. Don't get frustrated. Even though you're making 100 or 200 coins of profit on each card sometimes, it's gonna add up in the end and it's going to be very, very profitable for you guys throughout the early parts of FIFA and getting your club from the ground to the top. It's It doesn't take that long, man. I think I did a zero to 100K in about a day or two, but especially if you know these tips, you might be kind of stuck at like 10K, like, yo, it feels like I'm going so slow. I can't really do SBCs yet. Hopefully some of these tips in this video will help you get from that 0K mark up to 100,000 coins and get your FIFA Ultimate Team rolling. If you enjoyed this video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.